Legendary Passages, Episode 116, Pseudo Apollodorus, The Library Epitome, Section 1, Epitome of Theseus. Previously, Theseus discovered his origins and journey to Athens. In this passage, he expelled Medea, fought the Minotaur, and had many adventures as king most ending in disaster. After sacrificing the Marathonian bull, Theseus was recognized by his father Aegeus. He sailed to Crete, navigated the labyrinth with a spool of thread called a clue, given to him by Ariadne. He was going to marry her, but after Dionysus carried her off, Theseus forgot to change the sail, and thinking his son dead, Aegeus jumped to his death. Ariadne learned how to master the labyrinth from Daedalus, who was then imprisoned by Minos. Daedalus escaped by building wings, but his son Icarus fell into the sea. After tracking him down in Camachus, Minos died in a boiling bath. Theseus joined Hercules on his eighth labor to retrieve the girdle of the Amazon queen, Hippolyte and fell in love with her sister Antiope. They had a son, Hippolytus, but when the Amazons invaded Athens to rescue her, she died. Eventually Theseus married Ariadne's sister Phaedra, but she fell in love with Hippolytus, got rejected, accused him of assault, and hanged herself. Theseus cursed his son, so Poseidon caused the death of Apollotus. Next was the Centauromachy, where Theseus and his friend Peruithous fought the centaurs, descended from Ixion and Nebula, a cloud formed in the image of Hera. Fighting alongside them was Canaeus, who was transformed by Poseidon from a woman into a man, but was killed by the centaurs. Both widowers, Theseus and Perithous, vowed to aid each other to marry daughters of Zeus. His friend wanted Persephone, wife of Hades, so they went down into the underworld. They were both captured and held fast in magical chairs. Fortunately, for his twelfth labor, Hercules went to Hades and rescued Theseus, but they could not save Perithous. Before Hades, Theseus had kidnapped the future Helen of Troy. Her brothers, the Dioscori, besieged Athens, rescued Helen, enslaved Theseus's mother, Aethra, and made Menestheus king. Dethroned, he sought refuge with King Lycomedes, but he pushed Theseus off a cliff. Epitome of Theseus a Legendary Passage from J. G. Fraser Translating Pseudo Apollodorus The Library Epitome Section 1 to Section 2 But Medea, being then wedded to Aegeus, plotted against him and persuaded Aegeus to beware of him as a traitor. And Aegeus, not knowing his own son, was afraid and sent him against the Marathonian bull. And when Theseus had killed it, Aegeus presented to him a poison which he had received the selfsame day from Medea. But just as the draught was about to be administered to him, he gave his father the sword, and on recognizing it, Aegeus dashed the cup from his hands. And when Theseus was thus made known to his father and informed of the plot, he expelled Medea. And he was numbered among those who were to be sent as the third tribute to the Minotaur, 
or, as some affirm, he offered himself voluntarily. And as the ship had a black sail, Aegeus charged his son, if he returned alive, to spread white sails on the ship. And when he came to Crete, Ariadne, daughter of Minos, being amorously disposed to him, offered to help him if he would agree to carry her away to Athens and to have her to wife. Theseus having agreed on oath to do so, she besought Daedalus to disclose the way out of the labyrinth. And at his suggestion, she gave Theseus a clue when he went in. Theseus fastened it to the door and, drawing it after him, entered in. And having found the Minotaur in the last part of the labyrinth, he killed him by smiting him with his fists, and drawing the clue after him, made his way out again. And by night he arrived with Ariadne and the children at Naxos. There Dionysus fell in love with Ariadne and carried her off. And having brought her to Lemnos, he enjoyed her, and begat Thaos, Staphylus, Anopian, and Peparathus. In his grief on account of Ariadne, Theseus forgot to spread white sails on his ship when he stood for port. And Aegeus, seeing from the Acropolis the ship with a black sail, supposed that Theseus had perished, so he cast himself down and died. But Theseus succeeded to the sovereignty of Athens and killed the sons of Pallas, fifty in number. Likewise, all who would oppose him were killed by him, and he got the whole government to himself. On being apprised of the flight of Theseus and his company, Minos shut up the guilty Daedalus in the labyrinth, along with his son Icarus, who had been born to Daedalus by Nocrate, a female slave of Minos. But Daedalus constructed wings for himself and his son, and enjoined his son, when he took to flight, neither to fly high, lest the glue should melt in the sun and the wings should drop off, nor to fly near the sea, lest the pinions should be detached by the damp. But the infatuated Icarus, disregarding his father's injunctions, soared ever higher, till, the glue melting, he fell into the sea, called after him Acarian, and perished. But Daedalus made his way safely to Cavicus in Sicily. And Minos pursued Daedalus, and in every country that he searched he carried a spiral shell, and promised to give a great reward to him who should pass a thread through the shell, believing that by that means he should discover Daedalus. And having come to Cavicus in Sicily, to the court of Cocalus, with whom Daedalus was concealed, he showed the spiral shell. Cocalus took it and promised to thread it and gave it to Daedalus. And Daedalus fashioned a thread to an ant and, having bored a hole in the spiral shell, allowed the ant to pass through it. But when Minos found the thread passed through the shell, he perceived that Daedalus was with Cocalus and at once demanded his surrender. Cocalus promised to surrender him, and made an entertainment for Minos. But after his bath, Minos was undone by the daughters of Cocalus. Some say, however, that he died through being drenched with boiling water. Theseus joined Hercules in his expedition against the Amazons, and carried off Antiope, or, as some say, Melanope, but Simonides calls her Hippolyte. Wherefore, the Amazons marched against Athens, and having taken up a position about the Areopagus, they were vanquished by the Athenians under Theseus. And though he had a son Hippolytus by the Amazon, Theseus afterwards received from Deucalion in marriage Phaedra, daughter of Minos. And when her marriage was being celebrated, the Amazon that before had been married to him appeared in arms with her Amazons 
and threatened to kill the assembled guests. But they hastily closed the doors and killed her. However, some say that she was slain in battle by Theseus. And Phaedra, after she had borne two children, Acamas and Demophon, to Theseus, fell in love with a son he had by the Amazon, to wit, Hippolytus, and besought him to lie with her. Howbeit he fled from her embraces, because he hated all women. But Phaedra, fearing that he might accuse her to his father, cleft open the doors of her bedchamber, rent her garments, and falsely charged Hippolytus with an assault. Theseus believed her, and prayed to Poseidon that Hippolytus might perish. So, when Hippolytus was riding in his chariot and driving beside the sea, Poseidon sent up a bull from the surf, and the horses were frightened, and the chariot dashed in pieces. And Hippolytus, entangled in the reins, was dragged to death. And when her passion was made public, Phaedra hanged herself. Ixion fell in love with Hera and attempted to force her. And when Hera reported it, Zeus, wishing to know if the thing were so, made a cloud in the likeness of Hera and laid it beside him. And when Ixion boasted that he had enjoyed the favors of Hera, Zeus bound him to a wheel, on which he is whirled by winds through the air. Such is the penalty he pays. And the cloud, impregnated by Ixion, gave birth to centaurs. And Theseus allied himself with Perithous when he engaged in war against the centaurs. For when Perithous wooed Hippodamia, he feasted the centaurs because they were her kinsmen. But being unaccustomed to wine, they made themselves drunk by swilling it greedily. And when the bride was brought in, they attempted to violate her. But Perithous, fully armed with Theseus, joined battle with them, and Theseus killed many of them. Canaeus was formerly a woman, but after that Poseidon had intercourse with her, she asked to become an invulnerable man. Wherefore in battle with the centaurs, he thought scorn of wounds and killed many of the centaurs, but the rest of them surrounded him, and by striking him with fir trees, buried him in the earth. Having made a compact with Perithous that they would marry daughters of Zeus, Theseus, with the help of Perithous, carried off Helen from Sparta for himself when she was twelve years old. And in the endeavor to win Persephone as a bride for Perithous, he went down to Hades. And the Dioscori, with the Lacedaemonians and Arcadians, captured Athens and carried away Helen, and with her Aethra, daughter of Pythias, into captivity. But Demophon and Acamas fled. And the Dioscori also brought back Menistheus from exile, and gave him the sovereignty of Athens. But when Theseus arrived with Perithous and Hades, he was beguiled. For, on the pretense that they were about to partake of good cheer, Hades bade them first be seated on the chair of forgetfulness, to which they grew and were held fast by coils of serpents. Perithous, therefore, remained bound forever, but Hercules brought Theseus up and sent him to Athens. Thence he was driven by Menistheus, and went to Lycomedes, who threw him down an abyss and killed him. This passage continues with Tantalus and Pelops, but in our next episode, Theseus is introduced to Antiope and Perithous.